My daughter led a happy, normal life until she was 23 years old. Then, without any warning, out of the blue, she had a psychotic break. I thought I was talking to God. I thought that I was on cloud nine. Everything felt great because I was manic. I thought that the people around me were insane, not me. I came across this group in Virginia I'd never heard of, and I instantly went to their website and started clicking. The more I clicked, the more I learned. When I was ordered into treatment, I was very upset because I didn't think that I was ill. But when I got to the hospital, I found out that it was one of the best things that could have happened to me because I really was sick. Thanks to the Treatment Advocacy Center, the state we lived in had laws that made it possible for people in psychiatric crisis to get treatment because they needed treatment, not just because they were dangerous. Without these laws, I would be dead. The Treatment Advocacy Center is the only organization focusing on the treatment of the seriously mentally ill, especially those who don't know they're sick. It is the only organization educating the public, the media, and legislators about these problems. It is the only organization focusing on the consequences of what happens if we don't treat people. It overwhelms or overburdens the entire system, right from the responding police officer to the court to the jail. Treatment Advocacy Center is a group that sees that and looks to change that. January 3rd of 1999, my daughter Kendra was pushed off of a subway platform by a man who suffered from untreated mental illness. I was called by the Treatment Advocacy Center and they said that they were trying to do something to change things. The Treatment Advocacy Center provided media coverage, press conferences. They really did everything behind the scenes. That led to Kendra's law being passed only seven months after Kendra's death. The Treatment Advocacy Center had a database of what the civil commitment laws were in the entire country. They also specifically looked at the Minnesota civil commitment statutes and helped me here in the legislature to know how to improve those statutes. The Treatment Advocacy Center was essential to getting the law passed. I support the Treatment Advocacy Center because I know firsthand the sense of powerlessness that a parent can feel when their child is gripped by mental illness. And I also know the deep satisfaction and joy that you can feel when you see your child getting well because they got the treatment that they need. There are several organizations focusing on research and supporting research on serious mental illness, and that's all to the good. However, until we find some better treatments, until we find the causes, we still need to treat people, and the Treatment Advocacy Center is the only organization focusing on the treatment of the seriously mentally ill. The Treatment Advocacy Center is an organization that stands for common sense approach to helping people who are desperately ill, getting them the treatment that they need. And too often, public policies stand in the way. The Treatment Advocacy Center has been really the only hope that um, I've been able to find as a family member who has just wanted desperately to help my loved one. Um, with severe mental illness through a system that clearly doesn't recognize us. Um, obviously, it makes me emotional to think about it, um, but TAC, the Treatment Advocacy Center, is um, really doing the work that no one else has been doing. I think the most important thing to remember is there are few people that are fighting the fight to permit people to get the help that they need. When they're so sick that they're unaware that they are sick, who is to help them? At the Treatment Advocacy Center, we work in countless ways every day to save lives and support families.